Hi, this is Kim Pinkney and welcome to my channel. Alrighty, well I was thinking I was going to go ahead and do um, some coloring in my proof book of uh, holding my notes. We're currently live on Amazon and the link is in the description if you'd like to, you know, maybe buddy color or something like that with me. Um, I'm still waiting for mine, so, uh, but I think what it says is that uh, it would ship out for everybody else um, by the 20th of uh, September and today's the 18th and I'm like well hell <laughs> but me I'm not gonna get my my artist proof until like October so I'm like well hell <laughs> or my artist uh, final so anyway um, I'm gonna do a quick flip through of some of the stuff that I've already colored and then I want to show you how I would go ahead and color uh, in this book now uh, what I like doing is adding uh, uh, baby oil let me see if I've got my bottle here uh, baby oil to um, my paper and what it does is it makes the uh, pencils like uh, Crayolas uh, Prismacolors already glide and blend but it helps the um, the Crayolas and crayons to blend so um, I, I just went through uh, the first part of the book and coated it with baby oil and then kind of uh, dried it with a uh, with a big fan as well as my handheld um, ha hand dryer um, and uh, so far um, the first couple pages I started using them as testers for like my um, glitter gel pens like this one right here is a glitter gel pen um, on the Diva um, I had added a glaze pen I, I don't see the difference I probably didn't let it dry fast enough or long enough but yeah my first couple pages I kind of use as testers um, and in here I put on the fan a glaze as well as the the gel pen and it's like uh, it, it is sparkly but it's like I don't really see too much of a difference on it but anyway carrying on carrying on okay now also the biggest downside uh, to using baby oil in my book is that it loosens up the glue so every page that um, I went a little bit ham on uh, uh, it will take your glue out and this is what the pages look like when they're just uh, they come out from the glue they're, they're kind of serrated because they don't expect anybody to do that uh, a lot of people they'll go through and they'll just slice but you know baby oil does this to the glue so a uh, buyer beware also what baby oil does is it makes your papers transparent that's why um, I don't coat with uh, both sides black like one side being black and then the other side you know being normal you know and uh, people like that for uh, gel pen not gel pens but you know uh, using wet media and they don't want to see uh, something like this on the back side like they don't want to see any of that on the back side it, it, it's kind of minimized with the black uh, but I don't like it because if I if I do um, coat my paper with baby oil the black comes through the other side and it's really hard to cover up um, but yeah uh, so I started testing um, my ink te my ink tents on the paper um, and so I, I would like label it and I figured this one was a safe one because it's a you know it's a proof my my final uh, book will be coming and then I I'll probably be not as liberal on the the baby oil or not using it at all so I used my um, uh, glitter gel pens on the butterflies and they they kind of look kind of cute and they're not the, the the gel pen is not too dark to where you can't see um, you know the underlying details so I have it on her nails uh, and I threw everything at this book um, I have the magic fly pencils like in her hair um, uh, I have um, the what's her name Jane Davenport powder uh, pastel whatever powder um, on the you know her outfit down below 
you know, and uh, I mean, I'm, I, I threw like everything that I had at this book. Uh, let's see. And I'll show you the one that I'll be working on. But yeah, for all the pages, uh, they're, they're transparent. Uh, it's a good thing, and then it's also a bad thing. Um, bad thing is that you can see the page underneath. The good thing is if I decide to do like a pattern or something like that underneath, like here's a box of tissue, but there's a pattern on it. If I ever want to do a transferred pattern, I have that option. So um, it's transparent enough so that I could do something like that. So that's like, you know, a double-edged sword. Otherwise, you have to, you know, just find a little white piece and then stick it behind it. Uh, let's see. Uh, this one right here, I used the Ohuhu uh, markers <coughs> on her skin. And then um, I went through and used... Uh, maybe a Prismacolor or a Crayola like um, where her makeup is and um, because I have this as a grayscale it almost looks like a bruise so I'm gonna play with that maybe not using uh, baby oil and see how it turns out also the hair is a little dark so I'd have to go a little bit heavier on the uh, the colored pencil this one again, um, I used a hoo hoo um, markers as well as, let's see, did I use anything else on this one? No, nope, I think it's all a hoo hoo on this one. Let's see. And I was basically just playing with the skin. I think the skin is the most uh, challenging part to just get right. And um, I was just having a blast with some of these. Uh, I was using powders on this one. Um, and in the uh, final, I had gone back and lightened his skin so you guys won't have as hard a time as coloring as I did. Um, this uh, proof copy has like really hardcore gray around here. It looks, you know, it, it's kind of hard to kind of cover that up. So this one here, I believe I used the... Uh, the Daffenport one and I might have used um, see I don't think I used Ohuhu on here um, yeah I think it was pretty much the Jane Davenport I don't think I used anything else on here okay uh, let's see So once I get uh, the skins down pretty good, I'm going to go ahead and move on. This one right here was a hoo-hoo, and um, because markers dry faster, ooh, 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 okay, I had put glaze on one of these pages and it didn't dry fast enough, so the other pages were in the glaze. I was playing with this uh, these glaze um, pens uh, first thing in the morning. And I was like, ooh, got to test it, got to test it. And um, on the uh, clef here, I put the glaze on there. Uh, but you can't really tell. It is kind of still shimmery, but it was already shimmery. Um, it's the only one, I think, besides this one that I put the glaze on. But I should have let it dry. It said to let it dry, but did I listen? No, I didn't. It's an easy fix, but, you know, it still has remnants of the other side on here or a bit of it page you know thank goodness I have two pages of this <laughs> is all I can say okay so I did use powder on this one this was the Jane Davenport uh, powder and it looks really good uh, this was treated with baby oil and then I used the uh, glitter gel pen um, let's see the tam knit I think that's there I bet we're all saying it wrong probably pronounced Frankenstein but yeah uh, these uh, gel pens and um, and this one was in black I believe or actually no it was um, black is on these little uh, in between but these this is like uh, two different different golds but uh, looking at it one way you don't really see the shimmer but then it really just pops up when it when it's kind of tilted so anyway there's that um, but yeah, um, 
and I didn't have my source images next to me so um, I didn't you know I was relying heavily on my grayscale to uh, guide me through and him he's not too bad I'm going to be coloring another grayscale image uh, from out of here um, these were my glitter gel pens here and here no glaze <laughs> hence the reason why it's not all messed up there we go I guess aim it towards the light um, and um, I'm trying to remember if this was uh, I think it was a Davenport I used the powders on her face let's see this one's gonna be cool I'm gonna take uh, all my glitter gel pens and go like over all the notes or something like that um, in her earrings and stuff make it all pop out let's see this one was the uh, Prisma color no what was that one the colors of the world I think I was using those as well uh, colors of the world um, and I don't know if I've used the Jade Davenport on her skin. Um, also used um, my Shuttle Art markers on her hair. Uh, uh, I gotta play with it more. I, I don't uh, do markers very often. This one was the first one I had done. Um, and I really wanted to do like, like glittery uh, jewels and stuff like that. Now, this is what it would look like without all the glittery jewel whatnot in there. And this is what it looks like with uh, the glitter mark, the glitter pins. And then I went over like this one right here and this one right here. Uh, it got like you'll see every now and then you'll see a glint of like blue. I think there's one like right there. That was uh, from a fingernail polish. And then um, some of these dots down here were uh, from a fingernail polish. And then I coated it with that glaze. And then the whole, um, the whole thing right here uh, was coated with a glaze. And then um, I went ham on uh, the fingernail polish and put it on the little fake jewel here. And I shouldn't have done that because it, it made it cloudy and then it's like you can't see it anymore. But um, without that glaze, that's what it kind of looks like. And then with the glaze, it looks like this. So it's kind of pretty. Um, also, the thing about using baby oil on uh, this kind of paper is it, it turns it gray. So you kind of see that it's like an off-white. This is white and this is like off-white. And you can kind of see the difference that it changes the paper. Let's see. Yeah, everybody who's really loose um, got hit with a lot of, you know, baby oil. You know, in there. Let's see. This was all glitter gel pen, the uh, shuttle art marker, and then I had tried to go over this with. Um, let's see. I was using glitter glue, or yeah, I was using glitter glue. Um, and I just didn't like, you know, it's from the dollar store. I didn't really like how it covered the black. So next time I do this, uh, type of thing, I'll probably won't, um, cause I thought it would be easy to go over the black, um, and cover it up. Uh, no. <laughs> so next time this is going to be white so that I can color it my way. I got to talk to the artist about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> anyway but the boots turned out okay um, that was part of the glitter glue um, I have that as glitter glue I have uh, some gel pen glitter gel pens on uh, some of the notes in her hair um, let's see and uh, her dress is uh, glitter glue and I wanted to see what the glitter glue would do um, without color and it's it, it's okay but I think the glitter glue works the best when it's on top of a color and all this was um, what is that called uh, it's also glitter pen as well 
Okay, I was working on this one the other day. This one here is also the Shuttle Art markers um, and uh, glitter pen. And then I don't think I put any glaze on this one, but um, it's got a lot of the glitter pen on it. Like sometimes I'll go through and I, I don't know what colors I want to use, but I knew that I wanted her hair to be pink. And then uh, because I didn't keep the uh, the mat underneath it long enough, um, it, it dried onto the other thing. Let's see, on the other page. Uh, ba -ba -ba. So you get a quick, pre okay, and you can also tell the difference between the paper. Uh, this is untreated with baby oil, untreated without baby oil, and this is treated with baby oil and you see the, the color difference. This is like more of an off, off, almost like a gray, like a super light gray, which is not a bad thing because it makes the colors pop a little bit more. And it changes the texture of the paper. It's no longer, uh, you know, super smooth or anything like that. It, it has some tooth, I don't want to say it has a little tooth to it, but it's just really great for the pencils, the, the uh, Crayolas. Now this is the one that I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to coat it with baby oil and I'm going to dry it and then I'm going to start coloring it and uh, we'll have some fun with it. I'm thinking I'm going to use the um, alcohol markers uh, after the baby oil, see how they take with the uh, baby oil. And these guys have been dried for a while. So um, if I want to uh, reapply baby oil, I'd have to do it to the back. That way, if I have any colored pencil or anything like that, it's not going to smear so bad. Um, one time I took, uh, like I had done in an Ahura picture, um, there's a video that I have, it's a speed, speed color. Um, it had, the paper had dried out and I took uh, one of these, uh, coated with baby oil, it went like this and the whole thing just smeared with the color. Uh, whereas if I would have just applied it to the back, it wouldn't have smeared the color on the other side, but the other side would have also gotten enough baby oil to be saturated so I can use it. So anyway, uh, <laughs> and there's another one that I've done. This one right here, I believe I used um, the uh, Jane Davenport. So whether you use powder or the um, alcohol markers, those work really well. And because I've got um, two sides to this, you're able to see, oops, I apologize, you're able to see uh, before and after, which is, uh, I think is pretty cool. So, um, so I, I'll probably keep repeating things in my book. Um, and you know, and I've seen some books where they have the same page, like one right after the other. So you can see before, after, before, after, <laughs> you know, type of thing. So, uh, but the downside to that is again, uh, baby oil. If I have one page, um, you know, dry, and I do my best to keep it dry, the baby oil will loosen the page that, you know, or anything that the baby oil comes in contact with. It's gonna loosen up the glue. So um, it, it, the baby oil works really super well It'll keep uh, your powders in place. Uh, this is coming off just a little bit, but it's not coming off on like another page. Let me see. Just for giggles, I want to try. It might, you know. No, it, it doesn't look like it came off too badly. Well, I can still see the scratches, but that was intentional. Um, but yeah, the baby oil also keeps the Jane Davenport stuff in place. Uh, go figure, no fixative. Um, but yeah, so that's what I've got so far. This one I would probably go through with a glitter pen and just like go ahead and do the uh, musical notes. Uh, when I was drawing these, I wasn't sure how small was too small. Now I kind of know. <laughs> Anything smaller than the tip of a pencil is going to be, you know, like or whatever I'm coloring with. Uh, like, I can't use my crayons in this book. All my stuff is way too small. So this is either a colored pencil deal. Like, I could use crayons in certain areas, but they're so dull 
that you know I, I run the risk of going outside um, the lines. This one I, I shouldn't have too much of a problem with uh, with a crayon but this one I'd probably have a, a hard time getting into these guys. Um, now the hair here um, that should cover up pretty well with um, any of the markers that I apply to it. And again you can see the before and after uh, do, 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 with my bro here. Now I didn't put anybody's name really in here. Um, every now and then I mention a band or two or you know give a hint like <clears throat> girls generation you know here or um, but for the most part I don't say that this is um, uh, what's, how, do, how do you pronounce her name? Uh, it's Taiyun. Uh, let's see. And I believe, whoop, where'd you go? Anyway, I'm trying to find one that was like the opposite of that one. Uh, she's uh, part of uh, Black Pink. No, no, Black Swan. Black Swan. She was one of the members of Black Swan. Um, let's see. But yeah, you guys, if you would, let me know. Um, I think that's her right there. Um, if some of these are, and this is the Jane Davenport, I believe. I use Jane Davenport in here. Um, no mark, no no other markers just yet. But the paper is like eight and a half by eleven, so I can only go so big. If um, if you guys, if you're if you are kind of if you do you like doing faces, do you like doing more like abstract? Um, let me know, cause that might affect how I do the next book. Like these right here. Oh, I should do this one right. Um, and show you how I did the glitter um, around here but the faces are so tiny I would only probably get away with doing and I and that's one of the downsides is that um, if I want to throw in a lot of detail I sacrifice something gets sacrificed um, and what happened here was that the faces had to come down smaller now maybe if I turned it sideways it probably wouldn't have been such a bad thing but I wouldn't have had the same kind of shape yeah so yeah <laughs> yeah things get cut off things are bigger or smaller but yeah um, I could show that off okay so what I'm gonna do is the pages that I want to do I'm gonna go ahead and coat they don't take long to do the um, the colorings none of these take that long to color uh, especially if you're using the markers I mean it flies by pretty much um, but the point is, is to really enjoy it. I loved this one, but I'm scared that um, the musical notes were like way too small for people to uh, get into. So um, I'm gonna take a whack on another video to color this. I mean, I really liked how it turned out. It's really super cute. Um, if you're on Instagram, I have um, my little Instagram videos of, uh, of uh, how I done it like like I guess it's like a speed draw some of them I have not all of them but I had a lot of fun creating these and if this is the kind of stuff that you guys like please let me know um, again I, I being this my this being my first book um, had to know how big was or how small is too small you know big is good small not so good but yeah, that is like the detail on there. And so I figure um, maybe just coloring the outside of it. So kind of like it's like a halo effect, you know, like around the outside, like a glowing effect would probably be pretty cool. Um, the next K-pop book that I want to do, um, I'll probably be working on it uh, more than likely either in December or next year. And... Um, that one I'm thinking is going to be all black, kind of like, let's see, 
it'll have black sides and black interior kind of like this to make your colors pop out more so I wanted to try this as you know covered with you know the you know just to try to experiment to see if it'll work and um, I saw one of the youtubers out there doing a um, she was using uh, it was a water water brush that uh, can go on black and it looks amazing on black and I'm gonna buy that and see if that works on here and I want to see if that will make these pop out um, and then if I if that does work I'm gonna buy a whole I'm gonna create a whole book that has this kind of like black background um, the singer and then um, uh, something I don't know uh, it'll just be like really popping out uh, God, I'm really disappointed in that <laughs> But I like the idea of there being glitter on the black. I had a lot of black areas. and Anyway, I digress. So I'll be back in a sec. And we'll do Sir Jimin. And we'll play with his little light stick. <laughs> and let's see. I don't know what I did with the picture. Yeah, so uh, again, baby oil is a friend unless you um, you know, because the glue hasn't, you know, the, the baby oil hasn't loosened the glue on this side yet. And I, key word is yet. Because <laughs> uh, baby oil is a come in. Now I'm going to try to put it just here, but when baby oil dries, it expands. So uh, this may not stay in the book. All right, okay, I'll be back in a sec. And, okay, so now I'm going to apply some baby oil. You know, and I'm not really caring about what's underneath um, because I'll probably end up coloring that too. So I'll just do enough. Now, I coat the entire page, which is why my page loosen, loosen up. Uh, because if you don't, baby oil has this tendency of looking splotchy. And I think what I'll do is so that I can get the max out of this baby oil, I'm going to put another picture underneath that I want to finish or, or do, like this one right here, since it's already out. I'm going to put that under here. And you know, for giggles, there are two of these. So I can do two, one with baby oil and one without. And we can see um, the difficulties in using um, the Crayolas, the Crayola, you know, colored pencils. Now I'm not gonna go all the way to the edge I'm just kind of stay in this neck of the woods. Don't really need to oversaturate it. The first page is the most important. You know, the. But just to make sure that uh, it doesn't look all splotchy at the end, because once you get that splotchy look, it's like you can't unsee it. So it's just better to just coat the entire thing. Now another thing that I like doing is um, to sop up some of the baby oil. I'll put another image that I want to or don't mind doing. Let's see. This is another one that I'm going to end up doing eventually. So I'll put that one on top and just kind of rub it in. And that will absorb a little bit of that baby oil. Okay, so give it about an hour to dry, or you can put it under a fan, and or you can even do it overnight. Uh, this technique works really well with um, Bristol paper, not so much with um, 
uh, computer paper. Computer paper is just terrible for it um, because it's not made for that. But uh, Bristol takes it really well. Bristol is the bomb. Um, and it, it doesn't, you know, from what I've noticed, it doesn't fade. It's still beautiful uh, from the get-go. Um, and this is just kind of drying out uh, the Gemin picture a little bit. And also transferring a little bit to this one. So even this one has a little bit, and I'm just going to hit it with a little bit more. And this paper does, like, eat up your pencil, I think. Um, let's see how this is so far. Yeah, it really absorbs a lot. Okay. Alrighty, I'm going to go stick it under a fan for a little bit, and then I'll be right back. Alrighty, and now we're back. Okay, so this is what I've got. He is now transparent. And let's go ahead and start playing. Let's see. I should have my source image really close by. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we've got the highlights. Eh, yeah, it kind of plays off. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is uh, pick out my colors from the Oh Hoo Hoo set. Um, I had bought the skin tones thinking it would help uh, my son who likes to uh, draw, draw people. He's getting much better. Um, but, you know, some artists, they don't like to take criticism or anything like that. So I'm, like, very hands-off with his stuff. Uh, this is the kind of stuff that he draws. <laughs> and everybody used to be that tiny. And he's gotten a lot bigger now. But uh, I thought that since he's leveling up, that I should, you know, help him along the way ever so gently. <laughs> uh in artist's kids. Um, so anyway, um, I decided that for Jemin here, I'm going to use a few colors, uh, and luckily, uh, a good portion of these are in this Ohuhu set. I believe it's like a set of 24 or something like that. I don't know. But um, let's see. So I'm going to use like this, this color here, the WG5 as a base. Um, I'm going to use, uh, let's see, I need this one, and his skin is more, I don't want to say orange, it's like orange-yellow-ish. Um, I should swatch everybody out so I can see what I've got, but so far, I'll probably go ahead and use uh, this W5, WG5. Then I'll probably use this 18, um, and let's see, for kind of like his shadows, I'm not going to go too dark, but I'm going to use probably this color, the R26, and that's Honey, and maybe the R30, which is like this pink. Um, possibly on his lips, but his lips are a little brighter than that. Now, when I kept mentioning Jane Davenport, this is what I was talking about. Um, this is Palette Pastels, birthday suit, and these colors are awesome. Um, I usually apply them with, like, one of these. But, you know, these wear out or they get really dirty, whatnot. So, um, I've also been using this brush here. So, um, or just brushes in order to get the colors that I want. So, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and lay his base. I also use makeup sometimes uh, if I need to get, like, any shades that aren't in here. and Kind of offset. Uh, this one is more wet 
because uh, it's supposed to go on skin more than powder but uh, it both work pretty well okay so before I start touching this I'm going to go ahead and lay out the base and we're going to use this uh, the brush here and I'm going to use the side of the marker so I can get a little bit more colors here and let me bring my camera down and we'll focus mostly on the face right now and then I just got to remember if we go below the neck to to move the camera so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna coat the entire thing um, highlights and all Now this is also an experiment, um, just to see how well uh, this works on baby oil, and then when it's got layers on top of layers, or if this works better when it's dry, you know, dry paper, untreated. And I'm kind of working in circles. And the grayscale kind of um, hides any kind of like streaky stuff. And you got to work fast because these guys dry pretty fast. Get his ears. Always neglect the ears. Let's see. And this is as far down the neck as you guys will see until I lift it up. So we'll just go ahead and get the face really good. Now, no matter how much I go back over certain spots, like um, I'm going back over like the darker tone because you know, like. Uh, Usually these alcohol markers will show you where you've been and every time you go over it, it gets a little darker, a little darker. Uh, those are mostly for, what is it called, um, the Copics. Like every time you apply it, it gets a little darker, a little darker. Um, I didn't notice that so much with this one. If it happens, it's kind of subtle. So I've got this whole thing like saturated with this base color. Okay, so I'm going to lift this up a little bit and get his hands. I like to do all the colors at the same time. So like if I'm doing a base tone, I want to do all the base. All about that base, all the base, all the base. The base belong to us. Get the neck. So like creating coloring books, um, also makes me more mindful of where things are um, like if you guys can't find it and I can't like if I'm drawing it and I can't find where things begin and end I can only imagine what you know a colorist would go through okay so I'm gonna go over the dark parts one more time what I want to do is just really change that gray to uh, the flesh tone here okay let's lift this up a bit and I'm gonna go ahead and hit some more of the gray oh I don't like I hate I hate chisel tip just saying um, I'm like yeah it, it'll help you get like big spots and stuff but I hate it with a passion. Every marker that I get, whether it's fabric marker or, you know, it, it, they all have this chisel tip like, oh yeah, yeah, the kids really dig it. No, no, <laughs> not this one, not this little duck. I hate chisel tips with a passion. Okay. 
Uh, not to say that I won't use it, especially if the other side's all screwed up from being used too much. But it just feels wrong. This is softer. It's pliable. You can turn it on its side and use it that way. Okay, so I got that going on. Um, I'm going to give it a second to dry. And then, um, let's see, we're going to go ahead and lay some of that, that uh, other skin tone on. And I believe that's the R13, uh, R18. Um, not sure if it's going to be the tone that I want. Uh, let me check my chart one more time. And I thought Ohuhu was pretty clever for including that little swatch chart. Okay, so his skin is more of like a yellowish tone. Um, let's see. None of these are like hardcore yellow the way I, I want it to be. I need a peach and I need kind of like a yellowish tone. And so like R20 might be really good for this. Let me try R20. Do, 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 do. And uh, the tips aren't, you know, like the color that they have on here. Uh, they're not true to, you know, the color. Okay, so where I want to work is in these uh, shadows. Just kind of get the edges here. And I'm really using a light touch, like that's why I'm way back on the end here. I'm not pressing down or anything like that. It's just kind of like the weight of the marker is doing, doing its deal. And I figure that most of the light is going to come from this end since I have a lot of highlight there. So, but uh, this is a light stick. So we could light this up so that this kind of lights up its face too. So what I'm going to end up doing is if you have a light portion here, if it, uh, there should be a corresponding dark on the other side. So I'm probably going to take like a brown and just kind of hit that edge too. Okay, so these are like the darkest areas. We'll get it like right here. The side of his nose. Let's see, not so much on this side. And I need like a yellow tone. Um, and none of these are really super yellow-ish. So let's see, let me swatch a couple of these. Maybe I might get lucky. So like Y9, and as this is kind of drying. And once it dries, I'll have a, a better idea of how well these are doing. And anything that I can't compensate for on, um, this is yellow ochre. And yeah, I'm terrible with staying in these little tiny lines. cardstock is pretty good for this. Uh, Y12. Now it's starting to look a little orange. That's good. And so um, in this portion right here, I want to go with a little bit lighter tone, which is that R18. Um, Ra Shalar. Okay, so I'm going to throw a little bit of that here. So you could basically say that we're kind of going from dark to light, but, or rather light to dark. So I'm going like, I put the base down, that's pretty light, and then now I'm kind of playing in the shadows just a bit, just to give it a little definition. Like this is going to be like a, a brighter orange. I'll need like an overall brighter yellow. And I think that's where the Davenport's going to come in. That or the, um, we'll use like uh, either the Crayolas or the Prismacolors. These guys do bleed, so just be aware of that. 
and I'm also going to hit the hand and all that stuff too. Okay, so I want to try to get these colors to kind of blend just a smidge. Um, I'm going to use a bit of the R26. Let's see, right here. And I'm going to use that under his chin to kind of make it um, a little shadowy. And to kind of make it pop out a little bit more. So I'm going to get it nice and wet and then come in with a lighter color and see if I can blend it down just a bit and do it again now sometimes um, if you do it too much it'll get into the wrong spot so I'm just going to try to stay a little bit away from the edge of the line and just kind of bring it down some and then wait because it looks like it's already bled here All right. Now I also want to do something similar to the side of his nose here and probably into his eyelashes because it's a little darker here. It's going to be darker in his brow. This is one of those times where his hair is brown, but it, it can be any color you want. It's going to be dark on that side and a little bit lighter here. And I think the, the Davenport ones should be helping me to up that a little bit. Now, right around this edge, I'd like it to be a little bit grayer but I don't have like a gray tone to stick on there. So that will probably end up being a colored pencil. Oops. All right, so let's see. We can hit it here where it's darker. A little bit around some of these edges. And I might even, let's see, I think my darkest tone is this R91. So I'm going to use a little bit of that R91 and I'll put just a little bit under his chin. Maybe let this dry a little bit. And then tap it down this way because it dries really fast. So it's good to have it saturate. That way you can move the move the tones just a bit. Supposedly there's a colorless blender, and I think this is supposed to help you move it, but it's not a blender. I don't think it's it's the same as what we're thinking it might be. Well, maybe it is. Let's see. It doesn't suck. Not yet. All right. Okay, so we got that going on. We've got a nice little base going on. Um, it can't hurt to add some more tones in the ear. Let's see, we have the W. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, it's right here. W. And then I want to get like that warmer orange. So let's see, we can try. I want to try the, the Y4 and see what that looks like on here. Uh, Y4. That might be a little too orange for us. Let's see. I 
because of the grayscale, maybe it might dull it down a little bit. Okay, I need this just to move. I don't want it to look splotchy. There we go. Move, damn you. Okay, yeah, I just want it to kind of be soft. So we'll just kind of blend it outward this way. Okay, so I'm going to take another tone. Let's see, I'm trying to think. Do I want to do that? I think I'll use the the powders instead to see what it does. Now, because I was too close to the edge, it started to bleed a little bit. But I think we should be all right. Okay, so letting this do its thing. Now, I'm thinking I'm going to hit it with a... Oops, and everything falls. <laughs> Give me a second. I just got to recover something here. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so it's a little stabler. Just aim it up a little higher. There we go. And then I'm going to hit this with a, a little bit of air. I'm going to take the sound out so it doesn't blow your eardrums out. So let's see. I think it's this beast right here. So give me a second. All right, let's see, making sure I don't have anything here that is of consequence. Uh, there we go. This I want to use. Okay, give me one quick second. I'm going to pause everything and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so now I'm back. Um, this is the fingernail polish that I like using on the jewels. This is an LA Colors Pop craze nail polish with hardener and it's 543 and it's pretty good <coughs> excuse me so i'll probably throw a little bit on uh wherever i can that will give it that extra little pop um but more than likely i'll add it to like this one right here okay so anyway that's one of the things that fell <laughs> Uh, when I kept mentioning that I was using gel uh, pens and things like that, uh, these are these doodlers. I have like a gold, uh, silver, purple. Uh, they're like little metallic colors, but they also have... Uh, let's see, some of them have glitter, some are just like a metallic sheen and it looks kind of like that let me give it a second to focus focus on you there you go um it, it's pretty so um i'll probably use it somewhere on here i'm just not sure where uh let's see but those are the ones that i was using okay so this should have dried enough that i'm going to apply the Davenports. Okay, so I'm going to get this to kind of smooth out a bit. Let's see. And I think I got a lot of light on here. Let me see if I need to... Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, so now I'm going to use these guys. These are the Jane Davenport Palette Pastel Birthday Suit. And this is going to give me like that yellowish tinge to a skin that I've been oh so wanting uh you can also use let's see where my brush oh the brushes are the things that fell too okay i'm going to use a little bit of this and just kind of dab at it until i see a difference there we go and just kind of work it in spread it around spread the love or you can use 
this beast but I've got something on it already and I'm scared it's going to taint the, the picture. Let me see if I put it in the hair so it's kind of like a purplish tone that's on there. I'm trying to see if I can get some of it to come off. And like in the highlighted area I can use I'm going to tap it right here and yeah that's not too bad okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get it all on this bad boy and I can even use a little bit of the white Okay, I'm going to use the brush here. Okay, so where I want some of that yellowish tone is like right here. And I'm just going to kind of work it in. And then I want kind of like a peachy pink kind of sort of here. And I think that it would have come out a lot brighter uh, without the baby oil. Um, and I think what I can do is take a sec and I'm going to use a little bit of this purple here just in the shadow. I might switch to blue, the, the darker tone here just to make sure that gets a little bit of that. And let's see if I can wipe this off a little bit. Use a little bit of this purple just right here on this edge. And then bring it up with the uh, orange. Let's see, what's the closest to orange I've got on here? Uh, yeah, none of these are really, so it needs to be like more of a deep, dark peach. Let's see, do I have a deeper, darker peach? No, I don't, not really. Okay, so next best thing, let's try to use this guy right here. I'm going to use this guy right here. So he's not going to be as lit up as my source image, unfortunately, not with these uh, colors that I've got here. Maybe uh, on the next one we'll uh, try it with uh, colored pencil or even go over this with colored pencil. Yeah, let's do that. This will be our base. Not the final. I'm just kind of working it in. And that this will let you get that feathery look that the 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 brushes oh I'm sorry the these other brushes aren't going to give to us um, I'm sorry these markers won't give to us This coral color um, is pretty close to what I need. Okay. Don't want his nose to be too orange. So I'm going to come back with this right here.
and come over on this side as well. Now he's got uh, quite a few highlights um, in this area right here, right here. So I'm going to try to be mindful of that. And don't go over that too badly. Now I'm using like a yellowish tinge on this side of his face. It's like this side of his face is more in shadow. And I think this would look kind of cool with um, the untreated baby oil. So let's we can also see the difference. Uh, let me go ahead and add some of the more tones to this and then I'll pull out the other and then this side I think I'll make it more of this peach tone using the brush it's a little bit harder to you know stay in the line so I might end up you know if I get really close to the edge I might end up having to uh, do the outside you know like the the background I'm gonna bring a little bit more of that let's see what color do I want to use I'm gonna use a little bit of this tone right here I'm gonna use a little bit right here but I don't want to use too much. Just a little bit. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of white. Just to kind of soften it. Because it goes from this dark tone to uh, the highlight. Doesn't look too bad. Alrighty. And we'll do a little bit of the orange here. Um, I want a little bit more, we'll throw a little bit of white and then a little bit of yellow on top of that. So like right here is where it's pretty light. It's lightest like right here. It's really light right here. get a little bit of the yellow right here all on this side <laughs> this little thing was slipping all right and I want to go a lot lighter on this and right here actually whatever color we decide to make this we can do on this side of the face uh, let's see uh, bum, 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 bum. now I want to lighten up this gray scale right here so I'm going to throw a little bit more white just kind of blend them together see if I can get them to lighten it up a bit but still keep that peach tone and right here So, uh, do, 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 do. not a bad base. And then to smooth everything out, um, I'm going to use um, like a Prismacolor. But um, let me throw a little bit, I want to, let's see, I need a little bit more orange. 
but I don't have like orange on here at all. So let's try the coral. Let's see what that does for us. Uh, no, it's too red, but I do need a little bit of red right here. Um, let's see. I need also, you know, that coral mixed with some of the flesh tone is pretty good too. So what I'll do is I'll hit this and then hit this like this um, hit this and then hit this just kind of get them together on the same brush and then just kind of work it in that's a little bright so let me put it on the, the hand here get a little bit of that off Kind of spread it around a bit so that coral is pretty good and it's closer to uh, the tones that I'm seeing there we go around his eyes now I can't decide what color I want to do his eyes um. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm going to do it like a light brown, but I think they, they also every now and then will wear contacts. So I'm going to use a little bit of this yellow and then mix it with a little bit of this. And I'm going to stick it right here. All right. Yeah, the grayscale really helps uh, uh, bring out some of the tones. Uh, like you have to add a little bit extra it's not like you can just like just throw a stroke on there and then it it'll get you what you need sometimes you just gotta work it in a little bit I'm gonna use a little bit of yellow and a little bit of white and where it's kind of bright right here for him and right here I'm gonna go ahead and hit that Yeah, so my biggest thing, like uh, if you ever have a question on how do you get those colors, uh, what I do is I find a source image. Uh, someone in this position, if I can't, you know, if it's somebody that's kind of made up, I find somebody who is in this position, this facial position, maybe similar lighting, and, um, and use that. You know, I'll have it like on a screen or in a magazine or something like that. Um, instead of just doing just a straight up coloring tone, because um, that will definitely help you um, get more realistic, um, more realistic of, of a view. Okay, so now I'm, I switched over to this little soft um, brush holder thing. And I like how it feels. This, because it has a little bit of give, it bends a little bit, you know, it bends a little bit. Um, so you can add pressure, but you're not like, you know, adding your whole weight onto it. It gives you just enough, put a little bit on there and you just kind of, and it kind of puts it right on into the paper for you. I just wish I had like an orange. Um, so I'm going to substitute that with uh, the coral and a little bit of the peach. I'm sorry, coral and then the peach. And then try to get some of those areas that I need to uh, just kind of add a little bit more light to. Or that orange tone that I need. And it, it's kind of making an orange for me. I'm going to add um, the coral here on his lips. And then I'm going to also add uh, some of the white highlight. So I'm going to take uh, the little tip of this and see if I can get um, a little bit of the whiter tone in a few places. 
Otherwise, I'll probably just use a colored pencil. Okay, now the other thing, the other applicator that I would use is a blending stump. Uh, this one is pretty heavily used. Let me see if I've got some sandpaper nearby. You don't want to stick these into a pencil sharpener. You want to use sandpaper. And these do last a long time. If you don't get them too wet, um, they last pretty well. Now, I don't see my little sandpaper block. Let me see if I've got a cleaner blending stump. This is slightly cleaner. Uh, also, just beware. So what I'm going to do is, um, since I have used this on something, I'm just going to work it off in an area that I know is going to be dark. Okay, cool. It's it's somewhat clean. Okay, so I'm going to use a little bit of the white. You know, maybe I'll just slip this this way because I'm using more of these guys on this side. So I'm going to use a little bit of the white, just kind of tap it. And then I'm going to come on into his lips and see if I can work that in. Because it's such a small area, I'll probably end up having to um, just use a colored pencil. I'm going to use a little bit of the dark tone here. Just a little dark right here. And I'll zoom in just a little bit. You guys can see what I'm working with. See if this thing will um, adjust. Adjust, dumb you! There we go. I see your thighs. Okay, and then right here is where I want this to be a little bit yellower. Let me try a little bit of this guy here, and I'll add a little bit of this guy. These two guys right here. And see if I can get that tone on his nose. <laughs> not really but it's not looking too shabby now all this right here I really want it lighter um, let me see if this thing I'm going to use a little bit of this yellow here and I'm going to see if I can get this to kind of lighten up a bit use a little bit of white as well now downside to using this um, uh, it leaves a lot of dust so some of it gets wasted it's let me try this guy let me use a little bit of this on the tip and it leaves like the dust here it's like really loose powder um, let's see we'll hit that there and I want this to be a little bit more yellow, so I'm going to tap this right there and then tap it right here on his face. And see if I can get that to work in a little bit. Not so much, but that's okay. I think it'll work just fine for what we need. Okay, so now I'm going to bring down, since I used a little bit of that yellowish tone up here, I'm going to put a little bit on his fingers. Just in certain areas. Whoops, I went a little bit outside the line, but that's okay. All right. Okay, so now the rest we're going to use uh, colored pencils. I, I'm really hesitant to like touch it like that. Um, but uh, let me move it up. Okay, so that's what the skin looks like without the colored pencil uh, applied just yet. Um, I want to take a whack at doing the face dry. Um, so give me a second. I'm going to go grab my other 
proof book. And I've got one left. Um, I've given the other ones away. Uh, so I'm going to do um, a quick coloring of this again without, you know, it, I don't know. Maybe we could use the markers again. I mean, it, it did pretty good with overcoming uh, some of the base. Okay, so let me go grab that. I think it's right here. <laughs> yeah, yes. Ah, and this is this one has no baby oil in it whatsoever. All right, and all the pages are nice and secure. But um, definitely in uh, the final copy, I went back and I lightened up his face so you won't have um, a similar problem to what I had uh, with, with the Jimin picture here. So I recommend in this book, Jane Davenport, the, or Pan Pastels, whichever one that you can get a hold of, uh, you get your skin tones and it'll go over grayscale beautifully. There's Jim in there. I don't know if this is part two. I want to stay in part one. Yeah, okay, so here's our Jim in again. Okay, so this is what it initially looked like. And then I added baby oil and the products and got this. Very rich looking, very dark looking. Um, maybe my camera's not doing it justice but um, it looks pretty um, with the colors that I have. So let's see what it looks like when it's dry. Just a dry, dry type of version. Um, I wanna keep that out. I'm gonna use this as a bookmark so I know where to come. Less flipping. Okay, so what we did before, and definitely put something underneath. See, it's not as transparent. Okay. All right. Okay, so we started off with the WG05. Let this uh, focus a bit. There we go. WG05, and that'll be the base. Bum, bum, bum. Where you are. Okay, so we got that going. And let's see how well it does without the baby oil, if I can still do the, the, the circles. So I'm doing circles, and I can just feel it just sucking this, sucking this up. I'm going to stay in the, the shadows a little bit more. And we want to color this fully. Now, if you want your uh, your base, I'm sorry. If you want your base tone to be like the highlight, do what I'm doing. If you if you want to have brighter highlights, um, just kind of stay away from the brighter portions. So just stay in the uh, the shadowy area. Like right here. And I'm going to avoid that like little white dot right there. I'll hit everything else. Okay, and then I'm going to kind of stay away from this edge. I'm going to see if that'll work a little bit for a highlight. Just kind of come into this edge here. Now I want to leave a little bit more of this lighter, so I'm not going to do too much over there. So we'll stay near his eye. Avoid that area around his nose. Eh, it doesn't matter. Okay, we'll hit that. Let's see. Get that right there. Just remember, when it dries, it's gonna it's gonna look a little rough if you leave any patches which means that you'll have to soften 
those areas. And uh, again, I'm using the side of the marker, not just the tip. You know, making sure it's really nice and saturated. Oops, that's okay. Got that AMSR, AMS, ASMR going. Scritch, scritch, scritch. Maybe I should be whispering. Okay. So any place where I'm feeling that I want it darker, I'm going to come back over it. Just about like right there. And it's kind of like just doing a little bit of a contour. It's the same tone, so it should blend in a little bit. Famous last words, right? Go ahead and hit these darker areas. And see if it acts kind of like how a Copic would if you go over another part that's already dry. Okay. It's not too bad. I need this to be kind of softer, so I'm going to kind of go back on the, the marker and just let it do its thing there. There we go. And then again, um, I'm going to put a little bit of a dark tone underneath his chin, but instead of being like right up on there, I'm going to be like a little bit away. And then I'm going to make sure this is open so that I can kind of blend it either way. So let me go ahead and bring it like about right here. See, even even right here might be too close. Yep, I already started bleeding. But hopefully it's not too bad. Let me see if I can blend this in this way. Give him a bit of a cleft there the shadow and think round oops I'm gonna bring a little bit more down here and see if I can get this to move it around a little bit yeah these dry really super fast once you put it down, it's like, I'm down. I'm down with that. I ain't moving nowhere. Okay. Yeah, now it's bleeding this way because I have just way too much. So let me let that dry a little bit. I'm going to hit it with my, my fan again. Or, I'm sorry, my heat gun. Much different than a fan. Okay, give me one quick second. Alrighty, now had I waited just a smidge, um, I wouldn't have had this happen, but thank goodness we've got an extra page just for these kind of occasions. Okay, so um, this is dry now. The hand looks fabulous. Um, it's, it all looks like one full tone. So like if you go over it once with one tone, you're not in bad shape. Now I want to give them like that reddish tone, that orangish tone. 
uh, just bring out bring out the color in his eyes darling okay so the colors that I'm thinking I'm going to use are <laughs> I want it more of a peachy tone um, we could try uh, it's torn between these three uh, yeah I guess I'll use the uh, the pastel peach one more time let's see and that one was R18 Okay, and then I'm going to go around this area right here. Okay, stay with the dark stuff. And put a little bit here. Kind of hit it a little bit there. And then we'll, we can see which one we like the best. I can actually put these guys side by side and you'll be able to see which version looks better. Should we do the baby oil or no? type of thing okay so we'll let that do its thing uh, wanted a little bit of yellow tone and that one was the let's see this is the Y4 Y4 gave us it's called Quince thinking the YR7 I'm thinking the YR7 this one right here might end up being a little bit better for his skin tone because I need like a like a peach which is what we used here but I also need kind of like a yellowish tone um, so maybe the YR7 might do for me uh, let's try the Y4 too okay so we'll use the Y4 in like maybe a darker area like right here and see what that gives us and about right here and I'm just kind of using the very edge and again right here We use like a little bit. Come to the. Now I'm like way back on the edge of the the tip here, or the the end of the marker. And again, just using the flat edge. Alright, and uh, I want to soften it. So let me see if this will do the softening thing. I'm going to actually use a chisel tip and I'm going to see if it will just kind of uniformly soften. I don't think it will. Let me use the switch back. There we go. So stiff. Just kind of going over all the stuff that's dry and seeing if I can get it to just kind of soften a bit. Feather a uh, feather a little bit. Could be too late because it's already dry. So 
in essence, the baby oil gave us a little bit more of a cushion uh, when it comes to some of this. Okay, so I'm going to go over it one more time. I'm going to let this dry a bit. And then I'm going to hit it with another color. Uh, probably uh, the one that looks... Let's see, do I have anything that looks a little bit yellow? Uh, not really. We'll come back with the pan pastels. So let me pause the sound. Turn this down for a sec. Alrighty. Okay. Uh, this is definitely an ugly stage. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go over the whole thing one more time with that one base color that we had. Um, I know this isn't a step that we did before. Um, this is the uh, WG05. Uh, and then I'm just going to go over the whole thing. Because uh, the blender left me with these splotchy looking spots and I don't like those so hopefully this becomes a little bit more uniform I'm going to go over everything just kind of work in circles here missed the ear before. Okay, so hopefully uh, going over it one more time will kind of like soften the effects of this orange here. And this is the area that it looks more coral uh, than anything. There we go, and this part was pretty light. see what that looks like when it dries. Alrighty, so while we're waiting on that, I'm going to go ahead and put these guys to the side. And it, it doesn't hurt to try it again with um, uh, you know what, I think this next one that we do, I'll do it with uh, just pan pastels and maybe colored pencils, just to kind of offset each other. Um, let me hit this with um, the heat, just to speed it up a little bit.
All right, so now we're going to try the pan pastels and see what we get. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, so let me keep it this way so you guys can see which colors I'm going to go for. Um, let's see, let's go ahead and start with the lightest and let's see, what do we have on here already? Uh, let me try this on his neck because this is darker. We'll put it on his hands. Okay, so we've got like the brown tone on here. So I'm just going to work it into his hand. Okay. There's a little bit of the highlight there too. And let's see if we can apply the highlight first. Work from light to dark here. So we'll throw that on there. And I'm going to have to offset that, the orange base that I've got on here. Oh, you know, maybe I can get away with doing crayons. I think we should try crayons. There we go. So it's uh, fixing my boo-boo. Boo-boo! And it's just kind of like rubbing it on in. I'll go ahead and put a little bit here. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so the pan pastels work pretty good on top of the marker here. The alcohol marker. So like the mistakes that I've made, they've been minimized to a certain extent. Throw some more white on here. That way when we do get to the other colors, um, they'll have like a bit of white to play with or to blend with. All right, let's throw a little bit of the peach on. So the peach that I'm using is this dark peach right here. I'm going to start over here on this end and just kind of work it in towards the light. There we go. And then bring it on down this way. And let's see, use a little bit more of this. Yeah, I'm probably going to lay this on pretty thick for the uh, that peach tone to overcome some of this orange. And just kind of soften it up. And then I'm going to add a little bit of coral as well. Now you can also, if you don't have alcohol markers, you can also use um, uh, Crayolas. If, um, if you have Crayolas, you can use them like a watercolor. And that will give you a really nice base as well. Um, the Crayola markers. What I usually do is uh, take like something that's plastic and use the marker, you know, just kind of throw some marker on there and then put a little bit of water and use a brush, apply it, dry it, and then you've got a really good base to work with. Now, if you're doing it in a coloring book, it'll buckle, but if you uh, apply heat to it, like uh, using um, an air gun like this, this is my hot air gun 
I uh, got this, I think, um, online, I think. I think I bought this online. And um, you can use it to a certain extent, uh, but it has a tendency of, uh, it scared the crap out of me by uh, stopping all of a sudden. It overheats if you uh, keep it on too long. So I was uh, using my crayons with it melting crayons and building up layers and things like that okay so now I'm using some of this yellow and I'm going around the lighter side of his face so these pastels are taking it really good yeah so uh, I was melting crayons adding crayons and then all of a sudden it just stopped I'm like oh hell no I just bought you <laughs> and then after it, it cooled down it worked again so uh, that's one thing they don't tell you when you buy it that it has a tendency of overheating um, if it's on too long okay so now I'm kind of working that yellow uh, into uh, like we've got the mid-tone we had the base we had the mid-tone is what I kind of applied there and now I'm kind of applying like a second mid-tone mid-tone to highlight almost it's just like it's moving closer to the highlight without it being the actual highlight it's just like another another tone so maybe that's like um, we had our base we had um, a dark tone and then we're going to lighter to lighter to the point where we are in the highlight itself so I'm going to use this this yellow right here closer to the highlight so like right here and again like right here and that kind of lightens it up so yeah um, this looks good with uh, you know we look good with baby oil we also look good dry uh, using the uh, using the powders now and also to compensate we're going to use colored pencils but just for giggles I wanted to see what we'd look like um, we use a little bit more yellow what we'd look like without um, the baby oil so if we stick with Prismacolor um, the baby oil thing is moot you know whether we want to use it or not um, if we have uh, like the budget pencils like uh, like the Crayola um, baby oil I want to say is a must you can do a lot more um, with baby oil than you can without it yeah baby oil and the heat gun uh, changed my religion when it came to crayons because um, you know how crayons are they're they they show the tooth of the paper um, they're crumbly um, you know waxy stuff like that you know everything that you can think that uh, would hurt your chances of doing what you need okay so now I'm gonna start tapping into the coral like this little area right here and I just got a little bit on this here and I'm gonna put that whoops put that right here and that will give me that that warm uh, color around his eye that warm makeup and also it will um, liven up the orange a little bit And notice I'm not putting it like on his the apples of his cheeks or anything like that. Um, we don't want him to look uh, ultra feminine. We want him to look pretty, but not ultra feminine. Um, we want to enhance his his beauty, but not uh, make him too effeminate. Alrighty. So like the warmer. Let me see, I can put a little bit right here and then just kind of bring it down this way and then kind of offset with a little bit of this purple color and just kind of 
hit that around the edge here to darken it up just a bit butch them up a little bit um, we're going to use a little bit of this dark tone here underneath the chin and then we'll throw a little bit of coral where it starts to turn orange again okay there's that coral fix this chin a little bit and we'll make it a little darker all right and then back to uh, this peach tone and I'm going to come back around in this area just a bit but it's more yellow so let me get back into this into the brighter yellow yeah so you don't have as much of um, a hassle uh, fixing the um, the grayscale um, when you go dry so there's dry and I'm probably gonna add a little bit more peach uh, I'm gonna use this lighter peach here uh, right here You just kind of blend it upwards and over and sort of a little bit of color in his ear I'll just use whatever's left on my my brush here my applicator uh, let's see I don't really have an orange so I'll use a little bit again I'll use a little bit of the coral along with um, a little bit of this peach I think and let's see if we can make kind of like an orangey tone that's too red let's try yellow yeah so a little bit of a little bit of coral and a little bit of the yellow uh, will kind of give me a little bit of warmth um, on his skin and if I got too much just add a little bit more yellow yeah, maybe a little bit of white. All right. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, um, let me see if I can scrape this a little bit. I want to add um, a little bit of the brighter yellow. So I'm going to take a little bit of this, take a little bit of the white along with it. And I'm going to see if I can kind of soften the light area here. Make it even lighter. So I would probably end up taking um, a bit of the peach um, colored pencil and going to town on this. Okay, so this is a really great base. We've got a lot of tone on him and we'll just take it a step further with the um, with the color pencil okay and plus we can layer our tones on top of each other so like if I want to make this a little bit lighter of a white we got that going on Make that a little lighter. Do the same thing with this side. And make it a little bit peachier. All right. Okay, so that's Gemin number two. And where's number one? Okay. And I'll put them side by side so you can see uh, what they look like. Okay. We got baby oiled up gentlemen. Let me take all these guys that are loose. 
about versus dry Jimin. Let me zoom out a bit. Let me just come a little closer. So which ones do you like best um, so far? Um, let's see if we can get these guys in here a little bit better. Uh, let's see. Kind of disappointed that he didn't fall out. <laughs> it's like, Jimin, fall out of there. Okay, so dry Jimin. Up, oh, we need to put something underneath them so we can see it better. There we go. Okay. So you don't have to feel intimidated if you have like uh, if you have the right tools, I guess you can say. Um, let me wipe a little bit of that off. Yeah, the past, the, the, these uh, will be your, a really good friend to you. The only thing is that, you know, you only have so many colors. Um, but this is the effect that it has in my book. So if you want, like, maybe a richer tone, um, richer image, you know, like if you want a little bit richer baby oil, um, here's what it looks like dry. It's a little bit more muted. The gray does still stand out, but it's not as hardcore as it is in the baby oil one. Let me see if I can get this to show just a bit more. There we go. That's a little better. Just a little. Okay, so uh, we're going to keep pushing on. Um, and um, I will see you in the next video. And we'll do his hair, uh, his little light stick, and whatnot like that. Alright you guys, thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.